Well, I started out um, actually not in teaching. I went to college. I was a college basketball player, and I started out, I was going to be an engineer. So I took all the math classes, math and physics classes, and I quickly realized that I did not enjoy being behind a desk. And so I decided to change my major to math education. And so I uh, completed that degree and actually spent a year as a college basketball coach. And then after doing that, I went out and got my first teaching job at a little school district in central Kansas uh, called Stafford. It's actually where I met my wife. And I was a math and physics teacher. So I taught for seven years. And then after teaching for seven years, I got into administration. And my first administrative job was at a small school district in far western Kansas, almost in Colorado, a Greeley County a School District, Greeley County High School. It's in Tribune, Kansas. So I was a high school principal for three years. And then I moved to my first superintendent job uh, in central Kansas called Burton was the name of the, the school district. And I was a superintendent there for three years. And then after that, I um, was actually recruited to independent. I did not know where independence was, and I came here as the deputy superintendent. So I did that for four years, and then this is my ninth year as the superintendent. Okay, very cool, very cool. Uh, so this is a two-part question. Okay. Uh, and thinking about like your everyday job, what is your favorite part? My favorite part is no day looks exactly the same. So it could be anything from deciding whether to have school or not because of the weather. Certainly I do a lot of work on the budget, uh, which I really enjoy, but then also the curricular side as well. And then getting out and seeing students and staff in the building. So uh, I think, the, again, the, the biggest thing that I really like is every day is a little bit different. Okay. And to add on to that, uh, what is the least favorite part? COVID. COVID. Without a doubt. Yeah. It's, it has created issues that no matter what your training is, it could have never prepared you for this. And I, I uh, compare COVID to um, snow days. No matter what decision I make on snow day, somebody's mad. Yeah. And they make sure I know about it. Uh, COVID is, is a continual snow day just day after day. Yeah, I think we can all agree with yes. that. Uh, so to take it back, uh, what was the first job? that you ever had in your life? Well, I grew up on a farm in Northwest Kansas. And so, you know, I, I started working at a very young age on the family farm. Uh, my first job where I actually left the farm working for my parents was for another farmer in the summertime. So I, I, I gained a very, very good work ethic from that because there are no 40 hour weeks when you're, you're a farmer on a farm. Um, you, you work basically sun up to sun down most of the time. Very cool. Uh, this is more of a opinionated question, but uh, in your definition, what is your definition of success? Oh boy, I think that that differs depending upon are you talking as a school district or professionally myself? Uh, just you as a person, what is your definition of success? You know, I think um, my definition of success is doing something that I love every day. And, and having a passion for it. It's not about, about money or material things. Is, uh, you know, I want to be excited for what I get up to do every single day. And I'm lucky I get to do that. Yeah. That is the, uh, throughout all these interviews, that is the one thing that has kind of been in common is that it's not really about materialistic things or how much money you make. It's more about are you content with your job? Do you like your job? Mm -hmm. Do you like what you do? Uh, so to wrap up the final question, uh, what would you say to a high school student right now that wants to be a superintendent like you? What would you say to them? Well, make sure COVID's not going on yeah. if you get into the job. Uh, here's what I would say is, number one, understand there are many, many steps to being a superintendent. The first one is to go out and get your first teaching job. And I love teaching. I, I've always said when I get done being a superintendent, I'll probably go back to the classroom because I enjoy teaching math so much. So you know, get that under your belt. Learn the instructional side because um, that's really important the, as you move up to understand not only what your subject matter is, but, but others as well. 
and uh, then then just take all of it within its sequence of steps. Go get your first administrative job within a building, either as an assistant principal or a principal. Obviously, along the way, you're going to be uh, taking a lot of additional courses. You know, I have my doctorate. Uh, it took, um, you know, through all of this from my bachelor's degree and then my master's and I got my superintendent certification certification and then my superintendency uh, came after that and then my doctorate you know that was eight additional years of of college yeah. so you're never done learning yeah. sounds like a lot of schooling and just a lot of climbing up the hierarchy it is yeah. it is uh, so one last question it's kind of like an add-on question mm -hmm. that uh, I hear, I'm sure you I'm sure you hear this a lot but uh how do you determine to have a snow day or not? I figured that question was coming, yeah. especially with the weather right now. Uh, you know, there's many different steps to it. First of all, uh, it starts with me watching the news, the forecast on, on what's going on. But as far as kind of that final process is my day starts before 3 a.m. And so I get up, first thing I'll do is go watch the weather again, obviously look outside to see what the weather is like. And then I actually, I used to go out in shorts, kind of like kids, even though it's cold out, they still don't wear pants. Um, I would go out in shorts and a hoodie, and I actually walked my own kids' bus stop. Now, I have to admit, I put sweatpants on now. It's, I'm, I'm not quite as tough as I was before. But I actually walked my kids' bus stop to get a feel for the wind chill, especially if it's, it's really severe. Um, and then I have three other individuals that go out and drive the roads with me, not in the same vehicle. We split uh, the city or the school district up into quadrants. And so I will start out driving usually before 3 a.m. And they usually start around 4-ish. And so we'll split the community up, drive the roads. Uh, what people don't understand is rarely the main roads, you know, 291, I-70, those are almost always cleared. There's a few pockets in Independence because of the hills that that is really the main indicator on whether we're going to have school related to um, with the weather and the buses. Okay. Sounds like a very complicated process. For not, not really, but it just takes, you know, just it take, takes time. Takes yep. Yeah. All right, well, uh, thank you for the interview, and uh, I think that wraps it up, so thank you so All much. All right, thank you.